Hello and welcome to another budget and leggy video with the 2008 Toyota Avensis diesel. And as you can see, we've got the traction control light and we've got the VSC light. Now, this only comes on as you're driving. Um, so in other words, as I reset and cycle the key, the lights go out. Now, what I do want to check and make sure anything to do with the steering angle sensor, does it come up? when we're just turning no it doesn't come up when we're just turning but what it does do if you look in the middle here as i start driving the little um light comes up as if the car is basically spinning its wheels and the traction control is taking over so let's see if we can just get that didn't do it that time <laughs> that's typical but it normally does it just comes up here like you're spinning the wheels and then these lights come on so um what we need to do now is plug a scan tool in and see exactly what's coming up now what vsc stands for is vehicle stability control um all different manufacturers have different names for it um but that's what it stands for on this toyota so i'm kind of guessing because the fact that when we turn it off and turn it back on again it doesn't come on we can press the uh, traction control light and actually turn the traction control on or off. So that kind of says to me that, you know, it, it kind of gives you an idea of where to go. So maybe we're looking at a steering angle sensor, York control, something along them lines, I'm guessing because of the VRC light uh, or VSC light. Um, yeah, so what we'll have to do is get a scan tool and plug it in and see, uh, see what the story is. In this case, we're using our Diagon 4. I'll leave the links in the description. This is a great little scan tool. And also, a big thank you to Keith from L1 Auto Diagnostic and Program. I'll leave the links down to his channel. Check him out. He does some awesome, awesome stuff. Um, he was the one that actually... Um, got me the the bits so i could actually do a screen record from this and it just makes life a lot easier now in this case i'm not using the screen record but he's got it all set up for me and i have used it in other videos so what i've quickly done is just done a health report and we can see as we thought the abs vrc and traction control system so we're going to go into there and uh, let me get set up properly first and we'll see what uh, what faults that's saying I keep getting distracted and uh, people keep coming in so it's difficult to continue but we're back on it now what I did forget to say is this engine has been changed in this car this is another garage that brought it to me uh, you know they change engines and do a few bits and I kind of you know if there's any kind of you know diagnostic work or anything like that they bring it to me now I've come across this problem a lot of times and what I think this is just going to be a quick case of reprogramming the sensor. So we have our fault codes there. The car drives very good. Um, you know, there's no problems as regards that. So what I want to do is we'll just uh, go into some live readings here. Right, my steering wheel is more or less straight. My ignition is on. But according to this, my steering wheel is turned 356 degrees. Now, as I turn the steering wheel, the readings do change, as you can see there. So we know it's doing something, but we haven't got the angle that that's saying. So the computer is essentially confused. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to reprogram this using a breakout box. see our ignition is off i've got my breakout box now everybody needs a breakout box this one this is a really good one it shows you the voltage and everything it's absolutely brilliant this one i got from ryan's automotives i will leave a link down in his in in the description box he doesn't have any of these ones left but if you need anything else he has practically everything there you'd ever need it's absolutely awesome the stuff that he's actually got and that he sells so um I will be doing a separate video on this, why everybody needs one. Um, I've also done a video on using one of these as a memory saver so you didn't lose the radio codes. I don't know which video is going to come out first, but yeah, so... And also I'll be doing a separate video on this because these breakout boxes are phenomenal. And personally, you need to get the ones with the battery voltage at the top. Don't really buy the cheap, shitty ones. They're a waste of time. You know, you get what you pay for. 
Before we start, I've just cleared the fault. I'm just going to quickly take this for a drive again, let the light come back on and see what fault we have after that. Now, as you can see, our lights are back on, but we've only got, but we've only got one fault coming back, which gives us a lot easier direction. Right. So, as we can see, the steering angle sensor is reading. So I'm, I'm not really worried about there being a, you know, like a, a, a wiring fault in that because it is reading. As I'm turning the steering wheel, it's changing the values. So in this particular car. Pin 4 and 12, we need to basically bridge, which we've done with just a connector wire there. We're going to turn on the ignition, press and hold the traction control button, and press the brake pedal uh, two or three times in a couple of seconds. I can't remember the exact procedure, but it's something I like this. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do, hold the button, turn the ignition on. One, two, three, we can see it there. Hopefully we should hear a beep. There we go. There's our beep. Turn everything off. Disconnect that. And we should have our steering angle reset. Make sure your steering wheel is straight. Um, Mine kind of look wonky, but it is straight. Make sure the car is on level ground. And now we should have reset this. So everything's gone off. Let me just take this for a drive and see what happens. Right, so what I've done is I've got um, the car lined up and uh, the intercooler pipe has just come off as i was pulling out so we're not going to have a lot of power and you might hear a bit of whistling but that doesn't matter so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in gear and remember before it came on quite quickly so let's just see there's the whistling sounds like a jet engine that's me planted to the ground and there we go look at that sorted actually sounds kind of cool and there we go, look people. Reset the steering angle sensor with a breakout box. Everybody needs a breakout box, I'm telling you. And like I said, I'll leave all the links in the descriptions to where I got the Diag gun, to where I've got this, Ryan's Automotive. I'm gonna be going down there doing a few more videos with Seamus, but honestly, the people, the stuff he has, and he ships everywhere, but the stuff he has is fantastic. And there we go, nothing needed, just because the engine and everything was um, taken out. And obviously when you have dead batteries and stuff like that, um, that can also, you know, cause this problem. So let's just get back to the shed and we will uh, finish up. So there we go, people, that's how I know, because obviously when the wheel was straight, we was at 360 degrees. And as you can see, the wheel is now straight and it's at zero degrees, how it should be. So. Well, in fact, the steering wheel isn't particularly that straight. You do have a few degrees um, to play with. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to get this straight. Yep, that's straight. The computer's telling me I'm at six degrees now. The lights are on because we're in the module, so I'm at six degrees. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to redo it again. And then I'll quickly go through it again with you. And at least you'll know how to do it. But it is important that the car is level and it's on a straight bit of road, tarmac, whatever the case may be. And the breakout box is just fantastic. But don't get a cheap one, please. They're just no good. I prefer the ones, like I said, with the battery gauge up here. When the battery starts going weak, it bleeps at you. It does all sorts. Has all the numbers up here, all the lights. You know, you don't have to basically um, get wiring diagrams to figure out which number's which. You know, it's just... They're brilliant, but don't get the cheap shitty ones. And uh, just let me quickly redo this again. And we can get our steering angle at zero degrees rather than 6.75. Now remember, it's pin four and 12. And we know when we're on the right ones because our ABS light will start flashing. As we can see now, if I just don't put that in at the minute, just turn my ignition on. 
basically nothing happens. The lights will go out, whichever ones need to before you start the car. So just turn that off. Pin number 12. So we're just basically short in between the two pins, essentially. And when we turn it on, you'll see our ABS light flashing. And there we go. So our ABS light's flashing, so we know we're connected right. Then what we need to do, obviously make sure the steering wheel is straight. It doesn't look straight, but believe me it is. Make sure you're on level ground. Press your traction control button, which is there, track off. So keep, keep that pressed and held. And press the brake. I think it's two or three times. I can't remember exactly within a couple of seconds. You need to hear the beep. If you don't hear the beep, you know you've got an issue with maybe the sensor or something. So what we're going to do, press and hold the button. Sorry, turn, turn the ignition on. Press and hold the button. Wait for it to start flashing. Press the brake pedal a few times. There we go. You can hear that beep now, release and turn it off. As you can see, I had to do that a few times. So um, it doesn't matter, as long as you do it within a few seconds, you will be fine. Turn the ignition off, recycle the ignition. Oh, before I do that, just let me pull out this. So I'm just gonna start the car now, make sure everything does what it's supposed to, make sure the lights go out. And there we go, boom, lights are out. What I'm gonna quickly do is just plug in the scan tool now and just see what that steering angle sensor is at. Sorry people, I keep getting um, pulled away and phones ringing and stuff like that. Now them lights are on because I'm into that system on the scan tool. As you can see, steering wheel dead straight and boom, look at that, zero degrees, absolutely perfect remember before we had 360 degrees or something it was something crazy and if i turn the steering wheel as you can see it then turns like it should do absolutely perfect so it goes the left oh it's plus numbers essentially and the right it's minus numbers oh can't see that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing and there we go so just so you know if you have your engine light on as well as all these then this is ne not necessarily your problem if your abs isn't working when them lights are on the uh vsc light and the track light um then uh, most probably not your problem uh, in this case we had abs working we had everything working just them lights coming on as we was driving but all the other systems was working in the car so just bear that in mind don't go resetting this and stuff if you don't have to because it might not be your problem that's why we look at the scan tool look at the scan data we knew this was reading it was reading wrong but we knew it was reading which is a good sign because it means it's doing something but the computer just couldn't quite work out where it was um but at least it wasn't completely dead you know if it's completely dead then reprogram it not necessarily going to work for you so that's really it uh so a few people to say thanks to again keith for uh, getting the old diag gun working for me on the um on the screen record even though i didn't use it for this video so i'll leave the link down to his channel uh lm1 auto diagnostic so yeah we'll leave that link down even though i didn't use it in this case uh, obviously I'll leave the link down to this bad boy, the launch diag gun. Also, we'll leave the link down to uh, Seamus and uh, all his good stuff now. He's got lots of shiny stuff on his website and I will be doing a separate video on this breakout box. And as you can see, this car has been sitting for a long time. Lovely, absolutely lovely. So there we go, people. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. What I'm gonna have to do is just go out this system because I know if I don't, people are gonna say them lights are still on. So let's go out there. And there we go. So we're out, the lights are off. Sorted! So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted!